Do you want to be able to quickly and easily create parent newsletters with images, text, buttons, videos, and links? Well, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to another EdTech tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Carrillo, creator and host of the EdTech Bytes YouTube and EdTech Bytes podcast. If you are an educator who's into educational technology and food, then check out the podcast and the YouTube channel and subscribe for more great content like this. To get started with S'more, click on the link in the description or visit www.smore.com forward slash podcasts to get started. Now, let's do this. The first thing that we're going to do is go to s'more.com. And once you're there, we're actually going to go ahead and log in or create an account. If you've never created an account, then you're going to want to click on sign up now. If you already do, you can go ahead and click on login. I'm going to go ahead and click login. And one of the things that I love is that you can log in with Google, which is what I'm going to do here. And once we're in, we are going to go ahead and start a newsletter. There's two ways to start a newsletter. Actually, there's multiple ways. You can start a newsletter by clicking here. You can do the same thing up here using the new editor or classic editor, uh, or you could use any one of these templates. I'm just going to go ahead and click start a newsletter. It's going to bring up the different options that we have. And we have weekly updates, class uh, updates, maybe an event, a business promotion, maybe you're selling stuff. So they have these different templates. For the sake of this video, we are going to start from scratch. And once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and close this little start by picking a title tip here. And we're going to actually go ahead and start entering our title. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Ed Tech Bytes Podcast Updates. Because maybe I'm going to be mailing this out to all my subscribers and sending them an update on the podcast. And I'm going to go ahead and say, see what's new. And click done. So now that my title and my little subtitle area here are done, I can go ahead and go to the body of the message down here and I can maybe start typing some stuff in here. Maybe um, check out the latest episode on document cameras. And that actually is my latest episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And there's all these different things you can do here. So you can actually add multiple sections to this particular document. So I can add up here, which I probably should have done to begin with, is um, latest episode. And done. And if I wanted to add another section, I can go ahead and add another section. There's all these different elements. You can add another text box. You can add a picture, an event, an audio clip. You can embed a link. You can add a form directly. Uh, and all of these others. I'm gonna, not going to go over each one, but if you wanted to add, let's say, another text box, you would just add another text box here. Okay. YouTube video. Check out the latest video. So maybe I want to put that text box here, and then maybe later I will add the video clip by clicking here and pasting the URL. So once you have the particular content of your newsletter done, you can actually start to personalize it. So over here on the design section, it's set to modern. And if you choose any one of these quote unquote themes, it changes the overall look, background, font, and colors of your newsletter. So if I was to click on this handwritten one, boom, you'll see that it changed everything. The body of my newsletter is still all there with the particular titles. However, it's changed the overall look and feel of it. And you can see by just scrolling over, you get a real quick preview of what that looks like. So let's say I'm going to stick with this vintage one. Now, if you don't like any of those, you can actually design your own by choosing your own custom background, colors, and fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the backgrounds here. And uh, they have some education ones. So let's say I wanted to put that background in there. Or let's say that I wanted to, um, I don't know, go through any one of these. You can go ahead and choose that. Now, let's say I like that background, but that particular color scheme doesn't fit with this color palette. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the colors. This up here are uh, different colors that come along with that particular image. So let's say I really like that purple because I like the way that pops. And then as far as fonts, 
So you could change the font. So you're basically creating your own theme if you wanna call it that. So remember that you do have control by choosing your own theme or you can customize your own theme using the background, colors, and fonts. Now, we're done editing our particular newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this done editing and it takes me here to this next page where then I can share. So I can do a couple of different things. I can print or download my PDF. I can then uh, copy this link and it's got two different links. I can copy this particular link if I wanted to put it out in an email and blast it out or what have you, or uh, maybe put it somewhere on the web. If I wanted to embed this particular newsletter, I can grab this embed code and put it on my blog or my website. That way it lives within there. Or let's say I wanted to just blast it out on these social media platforms, I can do so right here. And once you do that, you can actually check out your analytics and check out how many people are clicking and liking your particular newsletter. And just in case that you made a mistake or you forgot to add something, you can always go back and edit this newsletter later. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, how to quickly and easily create a parent newsletter using S'more. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found any value in this video, please, comment, like, and subscribe. That way you get notified when more great ed tech and food content comes your way. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the Ed Tech Bytes podcast for more. And if you want to get started using S'more for free, click on the link in the description or visit www.smore.com forward slash podcast. Buen provecho.